When wires are a mess, it may be hard to troubleshoot your robot. How do I manage wires on my robot? So when it comes time to wire your robot, it's important to make sure that you manage your wires and you figure out what the best path for each wire to take is. If you ever run into an issue where something is not working on your robot, a neat and tidy wire management system will ensure that you're able to trace back where the wire is coming from, where it goes, and any connections that are disconnected in between. Usually before the competition, it's a useful idea to make sure all your wire connections are secure and tight. You can do a pull test to make sure each crimp is securely connected and not going to come loose in the middle of a match. When looking at your wires, you may also want to do some other things to help make sure that everything stays connected during a match. It may be useful to use hot glue to secure connections that might be loose. Additionally, you want to make sure that everything is electrically insulated. Check to make sure that there are no wire strands sticking out from connections and make sure that there's no metal exposed on any of the wires on your robot. When securing wires down, it's important to consider strain relief. Make sure the wires have enough slack in them to ensure that they're not going to pull out during robot movement on the field. It's useful to make sure that any wire that is close to the edge of your frame perimeter is secured down to avoid it getting pulled out by other robots or while driving around the field. There are some useful tools and products that will help make wire management a lot easier. Using something like a perforated polycarbonate panel will help keep wires straight and tidy. One useful item are these mounts for cable ties. This will allow you to attach a cable tie to your robot that will secure the wire into place. There are a few different types. This one has an adhesive back and is about an inch by one inch in size. Once this is attached to your robot, you can place the cable down over the cable tie holder, put the cable tie through and secure it down to your panel. Additionally, there are other types of cable tie holders. This version attaches with a bolt for a very secure connection that might be useful for a wire going out to a mechanism or somewhere else on your robot. This version attaches to an existing hole on your robot for another way to make a secure connection. When using cable ties to secure wires on your robot, make sure that you cut the tail end off. A set of diagonal cutters will do the trick. Make sure you have the right tool for the job. Scissors usually leave a sharp point on the cable tie that may cut you when you're trying to work on the robot later on. When making connections from your robo Rio or power distribution out to other parts of your robot, it may be useful to use quick disconnect connectors, such as the power pole connectors or these Wago connectors to help make quick changes at the competition for any part of your robot that might need to be replaced. There may be some wire paths that have multiple wires going to the same place. It's useful to use something like wire wrap to ensure that these bundles stay together and are neat and tidy. Something like a spiral wrap will wrap around multiple wires and keep them secured together. Items like this braided wire wrap open up along the whole length and allow wires to be easily replaced if needed. Additionally, on your robot, you may have a mechanism like an elevator that requires a motor or electrical component to be on the end of a mechanism. Using something like energy chain will help make sure that the wire bundle stays protected while the mechanism moves up and down. Keep in mind that the wires going to different mechanisms on your robot will need to be long enough to accommodate any movement that that mechanism will have. When your mechanisms move on your robot, it may introduce pinch points or other hazards that may cause the wire to be damaged. So make sure that you're securely wrapping it and make sure that you're keeping it away from any of those mechanisms and pinch points. It's very useful to keep serviceability in mind when you're wiring up your robot. Doing things like labeling connections can really help if you need to troubleshoot any issues at the competition. You can use colored labels to label each wire and where it goes. Especially when using quick disconnects on your robot, it's very useful to label both ends of the wire. So if a connection becomes disconnected, you have a color code to know exactly where to plug it back into. Labeling your motor controllers will also be helpful to your programming team. You can keep track of which motor controller can ID goes to which mechanism and ensure that each mechanism is wired to the correct motor controller. Robots are complex systems and communication is very important. It may be very useful to keep a spreadsheet with all of your wiring information and your component CAN IDs that you can reference throughout the competition to ensure that everyone knows where and how everything gets plugged in. Keeping your wires visible, organized, and labeled are the keys to great wire management. Anything your team can do to elevate their wire management will be an asset at the competition. It will help make sure that your connections stay secure 
and that your robot continues to run at a top performance throughout the whole competition. And that is how you manage the wires on your robot.